Okay, this video is going to look at how you can tile a shape in rows and columns like this in code blocks. To do this, we're first going to add a pyramid that will show up in the middle of the work plane. We're going to move it to the corner, and then we're going to repeat that action, moving all across the first row, and then resetting and adding a second row, etc. Okay, as we begin to create our tiled shapes, what we're going to think about is our work plane here. Uh, the X axis is our red line here, so this is positive X, negative X, 0X right in the middle, positive Y, negative Y, and then our blue line is our up and down Z axis, with anything below is negative, anything above is positive. In our work plane is 100 millimeters in each direction from the center, so it's 200 millimeters um, on a side. So this would be negative 100x. This would be uh, negative 100y, etc. Okay, so let's uh, let's drag out our pyramid. I'm going to leave it at four sides here. And I'm going to run that. It shows up right in the middle. Like a lot of shapes, it comes on 20 millimeters high and 20 millimeters on a side. And because it's at 0, 0, 0, X, Y, Z, it's half under the work plane. And because it's 20 millimeters high, I know that if I move it up 10 millimeters with one of my purple move blocks, uh, it's going to be sitting on the work plane. So here I'm going to adjust my, uh, I'm going to take this move block and I'm going to say move it up in the Z dimension by, and I'm going to say 10. So because it's 20 high, now it's sitting right on the work plane. Okay, but I also want to move it up to the corner. So again, this would be negative 100x. If this is 0, my starting point, this would be negative 100x, and then if I, in my y dimension, this would be positive 100y. So let's see what happens if we, if we move it to negative 100x, y, positive, and then we're still moving it up 10. So now it's going to the corner here, but it's a little beyond the corner. And the reason for that is that this shape is 20 millimeters on a side. And when we move it somewhere, it's, it's moving the center of the shape. So what I need to do if I want it to be right in the uh, corner here is, again, it's 20, 20 on a side. It's centered at minus 100, 100. So if instead I move it to minus 90, and 90 X and Y. Now it's going to place it perfectly in the corner. What I want to do at this point is I want to keep adding pyramids and tile them all the way across here. So the X is initially minus 90, but I want to start increasing that X number. The Y initially won't change, but I want to uh, change the x, so the x is going to vary, so I'm going to use a variable to change that x number. All right, so let's, uh, let's do a little work here. So I know I, wanna, I want 10 pyramids, so I'm going to get a repeat loop from my control blocks, and I'm going to say repeat 10 times. And again, I know initially, I want it at minus 90x, but that's going to vary. It's going to change. So I'm going to create a variable. So I go down to my green math blocks, and I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to rename that variable, and I'm going to set, call it move x. So again, a variable is, is uh, like a, a bin you can store something in, uh, put things in, take things out. So I know that initially I want that value to be minus 90, so I'm going to set this variable to minus 90. 
and I want to remember to use the variable so I'm going to go down to my data and now be, uh, there's the variable that I've created and I'm going to put it in here. Okay so now we have uh, we're, we're getting close to having a row going here. Um, I'm repeating this 10 times but if I run this code it's it's this variable is not actually varying so what I need to do is get a change item block and I'm going to say change the move x variable and I remember that my pyramid is 20 on a side so I'm going to say change it by 20 so all 10 times that this code runs it'll be adding 20 to the variable. So initially the variable is going to be worth minus 90 on the first pass. The second time through it'll be minus 70. The third time it'll be minus 50, etc. So let's see how we do here. Okay, so it's tiling our first row of pyramids. It's, it's uh, increasing the x um, coordinate by 20 every time. All right, great. So there's our there's our row. I want now I want five columns. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get and what that means first our x varied. Now our y needs to vary. So we're gonna think about uh, varying the y and that number is going to decrease. So my next move might be to grab another repeat. Uh, block here. I'm going to want five columns and so I'm going to so this this outer repeat is going to give me the columns. The inner one gives me the row of 10. The outer one is going to give me the five columns. So after I make my first row I want to do a couple of things. For one thing I want to reset my move x variable back to minus 90. Okay, so here's minus 90 and that's going to be the x coordinate of this spot right here. So I'm going to set move x back to minus 90. Um, but I also want to now make a variable for my y coordinate because that also is going to vary. So I'm going to grab a create variable block. I'm going to name this one move y and again initially the value of that is 90 so I'm going to give it 90. Down here uh, my move y has been created so I'm going to remember to use that block here. So in my second row the y is going to go from 90 to 70. Again, it's 20 millimeters on the side of the pyramid, so I want to decrease y by uh, 20. So all five times I go through this outer loop, I want to basically change the y coordinate by minus 20 starts off at, at 90 here and all five times I go through I'm going to um, decrease that by 20. So let's see how we do here. And I'm going to speed up this code a bit. There we go. Alright, we're tiling. Uh, we've created a tile system here. Um, this allow, Then we can do some more things. If we look at our purple blocks uh, we can select all in object and that could allow us to say move all these pyramids together I'm going to move them down the y-axis by minus 50 so they'll and they'll move as a group I could also scale them together let's say I want them a little bit smaller I'm going to say uh, 0.7x 0.7y I'm going to leave z the same so they'll this is going to make kind of a pointier pyramid. Scaled them down. I could also, uh, another move I could do would be maybe to, to add um, 
here I'm going to add a cylinder, but I'm going to make it a hole, and I'm going to uh, make it a bit bigger. I'm going to give it a radius of 25. <clears throat> I'm going to make it 35 high, 64 sides. So I'm going to add this whole cylinder, and then I'm going to I could group the solid pyramids with the hole, and, and it should punch a hole in the middle of my pyramid. Uh, oh, the tips are left there. So if I made that um, if I made that just a bit higher, you can see it. The the uh, cylinder didn't quite cut off the tips of those pyramids, but if I run it again with a taller cylinder, it should take care of that. There we go. So that's kind of a neat design right there. Okay, so there's your look at creating uh, rows and columns, tiling an object uh, in CodeBlocks. Mm -hmm.